how to create a digital planner on Canva with hyperlinks for free. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital planner on Canva using hyperlinks for free. So Canva is an amazing illustration platform that enables you to create free illustrations that are gorgeous and super professional looking. I will be creating a digital planner. Now you can sell digital planners. You can create your own custom digital planners for your personal self to use. And I'm going to show you guys a simple digital planner that I want to create today. So to get started, you're just going to log on to your Canva account. I have already logged on to mine. Uh, all you have to do to sign up on Canva is input your email address and input a password and your account will be created. And that is it. You don't have to pay for anything over here. There's going to be an absolutely free tutorial and you don't have to pay for any of the things that I do. If you follow step by step, you can just recreate the entire planner as I do. So to get started, all you have to do is sign up. And once you sign up, this is going to be your dashboard. So you're going to click on custom size on the right side over here. Then you're going to change this from pixels into inches. And then you're going to choose the width and height of your planner. So I want to go with a square planner, which is kind of odd, but I just like square planners. So I'm just going to go with a 14 by 14 inch planner. And then you can click on create new design. Now there is another route that you can go down. And that is if you click click on your search bar over here you can search for planner and then you can click on planner over here and this will give you planner templates as well so you can see there are quite a few different templates available for you to create a planner from so you can just use one of these templates and customize it and then just create a planner accordingly so if i was to open up one of these templates just to show you guys uh, what it's going to be looking like so this is what a template is looking like and what you can do is instead of having you know uh, instead of creating like a weekly planner you can customize this to be a monthly planner and have the same look if you want to reduce the time it takes you can definitely you can choose a basic kind of planner like this you can also take a look at their premium planners and replicate those and recreate those as well now if i was to uh, create a, a similar work planner so let's say instead of like a square work planner i'm going to go with the standard size so i'm just going to click on create a blank planner uh, which is going to be a a4 size and now i'm going to show you guys how to create one with hyperlink so first off i'm going to change the color and i'm going to focus on the design element later on in this video so first I'll actually show you guys how to hyperlink so you're just going to take your planner or your uh, empty canvas and then you're going to click on elements over here i'm just going to click on text over here and then i'm going to click on add heading and i'm going to add what kind of planner i want so i'm going to make this monthly planner and then i'm just going to resize the text place it on the top over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do command c command v and then i'm going to just place some text over here and then i'm just going to place this like so place it over here and then I'm going to add Jan like this so January and then I'm going to command C command V place February over here Feb. so just like that I'm just going to do command C command V with multi select and I'm just going to form a few lines over here like this so we're just going to place these over here which is going to be at 85 distance I want to make sure it's 85 on all of these so we're just going to opt for 85 like so so, and I'm going to make sure everything is centered as well because uh, we don't want any of our text to be non-centered. I'm just going to center this and this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then 11, 12. So now I have these 12 little texts. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the text March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and then December like this. So after you have placed all of this text over here, I'm just going to select this and make sure it is all centered out like so. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of distance from the center like this. I'm going to place this over here. Now, after that, I'm just going to add some more details like monthly planner, and I'm going to add some more text 2022 monthly planner 2022. And I'm just going to place this over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add text that says January. And then within January, I'm just going to place this text. And then I'm going to click on the element section over here on the left. And then I'm just going to click for grid. 
And I'm going to click on graphics over here and I'm going to take one of these grids over here. I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to expand this grid. And then you can just use one of these grids to illustrate the days if you want. Uh, you can do it like this. If you want, you can do it in any other method. But I just like to do this. One, two, three, four, five. So I want seven days a week. I'm going to make sure seven blocks are in my grid like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, once I have done that, what I like to do is I just like to click on add page, add page, add page, and then you can add as many pages as you want. If you want to make this just a monthly overview calendar, you can do that as well. But if you want to add detailed days, you can add the grid and then add pages accordingly. But I'm just going to make this an overview. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the January over here. And once I click on January, I'm just going to click on more. And then I'm going to click on this links, this chain kind of icon which is link icon and i'm going to click this and then i'm going to enter the link that this opens so this will open up the second page of our planner so whenever someone clicks on this they will end up opening the second page so if i click on uh, download over here and i click on download as a pdf standard and i will download this and i'll show you guys how this will open up now once our download is complete i'm going to open this up and if i click on january it will lead me to the january page so that is how simple and easy it is to create your own digital planner. You can add as many pages as you want. You can add as many details. And then if you click on your element section, you can search for things like flowers. And then you can decorate your planner as well. I like to, you know, add a few decorations depending on the kind of planner I'm making. If it's for myself or if it's for someone else, I just like to decorate according to the person that the planner is for. And then you can add details. You can make a specific monthly planner and then a specific one month planner. So in my one month planner, I would usually just link the weeks and then uh, i would just hyperlink each week on the first page so that is how simple and easy it is to create your planner using canva you can make it a weekly planner as well and then it's a very simple process just repeat the same thing uh, i just like to use command c command v drag and drop my text into the next page change the text so i'm going to add feb and then what i would do is i would click on feb click on these three dots once more click on a link over here and link this to the second or the third page and then go to page so now this is linked and whenever someone clicks on this link they will be uh, led to the third page so you can also click on this and click on download over here you can download this as a pdf or mp4 or png whatever you might want for most people you're going to be using this as a pdf if you want it to be a editable planner or you can also click on more and have a view only link so you're going to copy this link and you can just copy this link and share it with other people as well and then and they can also download this kind of template and i'll show you guys what it's going to be looking like once it's done so if i click on january it leads to the january page if i'm on the first page and i click on february it will lead me to the february page and then even if i have like week even if i have like detailed days it will just lead me to that day's page and you can hyperlink as much as you want uh, with this kind of method so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video.